Well, check it out, everybody. I have myself a watt meter here. This is courtesy of Michael Gagsnow. This guy is just awesome. Uh, he had made one for Jay uh, quite a while back. I believe in 2017 it was. So, uh, you know, did some um, talking this and that. And then, uh, little did I know, I come home one day from work, and um, I see this package in the kitchen, and I'm just like, wait, what? I didn't order anything. And so I'm like, okay. So I open the package, and first thing I see is this in the package, followed by this. And I'm like, wait, what? Like, no way. Seriously? <laughs> like, I just couldn't believe it happened, like, you know, that soon and that, um, yeah, that soon. I was very shocked. And what I really like about it is, um, well, first, here's, well, before we get to that, here's the display, okay? There's a little reset button on the right. You'll see where that comes into play. And it has this clear top on it, which is really, really nice. And if you look at his wiring work in there, that's some seriously professional work right there. Like, you won't see that at all today on most uh, modern design things. Really, really nice. And uh, w one of the cool things about this is um, if you take a look on the bottom. Now check that out. <laughs> so there's my YouTube icon. There's the Apple logo, the uh, traffic light next to it, and there's the uh, name on top. And along the bottom is, um, there's his initials, Michael Gegsno, Watt Meter V2 for version 2. There's his, um, there's his icon on the bottom there. And, dude, like, and you see they're all Apple logos. Dude, you, you designed this thing, like, so well, seriously. That would, that, that's just awesome. <laughs> like, you, like, everyone knows me so well on YouTube now. Just, it's so fitting. It's great. There's one of his labels on the upper right. Um, 15, amp, 15 amps max-ish. That's kind of funny. Um, one thing I might do is um, there's not a lot of area for it to grab onto, but maybe it might do okay. I might put some pads in the corners here, only because, you know, since this, since this stuff is on the bottom, I don't want it to get rubbed off over time by putting it on surfaces. That's why I have this hospital rag right here, just to protect the uh, bottom of it so it stays um, all nice and good. But uh, once again, dude, thanks so much. And the way you designed this thing was just awesome, seriously. So, uh, th so the input is, um, I believe it's an, uh, called IEC connector. It's what you would normally use for uh, com computers. And on the other side, the output is your normal, regular grounded outlet. Easy enough. And here's the uh, IEC cord right here. And then let's go ahead. Uh, one thing we can do is um, give this a couple of tests. One thing, I, one thing I am curious to see is, remember the RCA television? We can see um, what this thing pulls. And then we'll do a little bit heavier test um, on the Markel heater here. We'll start with the radiant heat. I might do both. I don't know. I don't quite know how many amps it's going to pull. If I see it's too high, I can easily turn one of them off. But we'll try, you know, the radiant heat and the fan forced, and we'll see what it pulls with this. But first, let, let's go ahead and get this plugged in and see what the uh, display looks like. All right, so we got it here on top of the TV. Let's go ahead and this should reach. Yeah, we'll plug it in and see what happens. Oh, wow, that just looks awesome. So we have 121.4 volts, um, no watts, 60 hertz, no, no amps currently because it's currently not running. And, um, P okay, that's interesting. P what's PF? Anyone know what that is? I'm not quite sure what that, what that unit is. And 0.02 kilowatts, probably from when he was doing his um, tests with it. Oh, that looks really nice. I love the, um, I also love the uh, colors on it. Dude, th that's fantastic. Really, really awesome. All right, so what we can do now is uh, let's go ahead and plug in the TV. I'll do that off camera. Probably be easier with two hands. And then uh, we will see what this does when we turn it on. Okay, we got the uh, TV plugged in here. And um, you can see it's not pulling anything because it's mechanically controlled, which is pretty cool. And uh, I can see the hertz are fluctuating a little bit. All right, so what we'll do is, like, nothing's going to come on here. It's just going to be static. But let's go ahead and see what happens when we turn it on, see how much it pulls. Whoa, did you see that? Pulled, like, 288 watts for a second. And right now I have the volume turned off. So it pulls about 40... Okay, it seems to be going up a little bit, I guess, as the CRT warms up and comes up to a picture. Here you can see here, here's the static. So about 42 watts or 43 
in the okay in the 40 ish range this thing pulls that that's not bad at all i mean it is a smaller tv i'm sure a larger crt would pull more um wattage but that's not bad at all let's see what happens when i uh raise the um raise the volume Yeah, it looks like raising the volume makes it use just a little bit more, which I guess would make sense. One thing, I'll, one thing I'll do too is uh, let's uh, let's turn the channel dials, see if that does anything. Oh yeah, look at that. Some channels use a little bit more than others. <laughs> yeah, let's go to you and try the lower knob. Nah, nothing really getting affected there. So, so this small television pulls 43 watts. That's not bad at all. And like point, like about half an amp. That's really not that bad. Try that. Yeah, not much, but it is kind of cool to see how the TV uh, does stuff like that. And we'll go ahead and we will let it focus. Come on. And let's turn it off. Just like that, drops all the way down to zero. <laughs> Pretty cool. Definitely cool for a, um, for a mechanically controlled TV, huh? All right, so let's go ahead and do one more demonstration. We'll go ahead and do the uh, Markle heater, as I said before. Okay, there we go. Got the uh, heater all connected to, to the watt meter. So let's just start with the, um, with the radiant heat, and um, we'll see what this starts to pull. Oh, but, oh, wow, yeah, it really pulls a lot on just the radiant heat. Then as it warms up, it seems to um, get a little bit less. Oh, man, you can really smell the dust burning off of it. It's been a while since I've used this heater. <laughs> yeah, it's going down as it warms up. And I'll come back when, it, um, when it's fully heated up. Okay, I'd say the heater is uh, definitely fully uh, warmed up by this point. And let's uh, see what we got. About well, just over five and a half amps and about 670 watts. Definitely a decent amount of power. There's the kilowatt hours, as you can see. And the PF went up to one. So I know someone will be able to tell me what that is. And 60 hertz, of course. Oh, there you go. All right, so just to be safe, let's go ahead and turn off the radiant heat first. And then, um, then we can go ahead and see uh, what the um, fan force will do. So we'll go back to the meter. And let's uh, cycle the fan forced heat. No, oh, actually, uh, that doesn't seem to be uh, much more than um, than the radium one. Just probably just a little bit extra because of the fan motor. But like the more I actually think about it, that would actually make sense because when I first made the video on this heater, I had said that you know I noticed that both coils are about the same size, whereas the one that Jay has, the fan force coil, is a little bit bigger than the than the radiant coil. So maybe that's why um, it uses the same amount of power because they're both the same uh, power usage. Yeah, just about the same, really. All right, let me go ahead and uh, come back when it's fully warmed up. Okay, fully warmed up by now, I'd say. <clears throat> Yeah, I would say it's just about the same, actually. It's actually pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna want, so so, so let's, well, let's watch this carefully now. Um, gonna put the radiant heat back on and let's see what amps it pulls. Want to be careful here. 10, 11, Okay, yeah, that that's safe. That's safe within the um, meters um, c capacities. And we'll come back once again when, it's, when that's fully warmed up again. And got both heat modes going. Let's have a look. All right, so about about 10 uh, 10 10.8 amps. Um, lots of wattage. Look at that. 12, just about 1280. That's pretty serious. And um, yeah, and you can see the uh, the voltage has gone down because of the high load. And the Accord. Let me just check here. Oh yeah, totally cool to the touch. So that's good. Yeah, so there you go. That, there's the functions of the watt meter. Pretty cool, huh? Let's go ahead and uh, turn the heater off. Try to hit both switches at the same time. 
just like that, goes all the way back down. Pretty cool. And yes, in the future, I will have some more tests on the um, on the watt meter. Like I, I'd like to test the meter sometime on the uh, on the dehumidifier, especially on the pot scrubber. But uh, that, that that's going to have to wait until later at some point. But at some point, I will definitely try the uh, meter on those. That 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 that'll, duh, excuse me. That'll definitely be uh, cool to uh, try out. And what I could also do is. Um, uh, I know this is a reset button here. That's just to reset the kilowatt hours. I know, so I can use a paper clip or something to reset those um, that, that that accumulation right there. And yeah, so that's how the uh, meter works. Pretty fancy stuff, definitely. And there was the watt meter for you, everybody. Um, so Michael Ge Gegsno, when you see this, um, that that white stuff around the display, um, is that supposed to stay on? Because I don't want to take it off if you know um, if I'm not supposed to. Because I wasn't sure if it was like protectant or something. So I'm leaving that alone until I get any word from you. So if it stays on, I'll leave it on. If not, I'll take it off. But just let me know, okay? But anyway, uh, Michael Gegsno, thank you so much, dude. You know, seriously. Like, I've loved I've loved watt meters ever since I saw Jay's um, a few years ago. And um, just, the fact that, just, just the fact that you did this for me, <laughs> really, dude, I cannot be thankful enough. This is, like, very awesome of you, dude, seriously. And Jay, I also want to thank you as well because um, you were able to pass along information where you could. And I'm um, definitely couldn't have done it without you either. So big thank you to you as well. And you can check out both their channels in the video description below. So there's the um, Michael Gegsner Watt Meter version two, as you can see. <laughs> very fa very fantastic to have. Thank you so much, dude. And really, um, in future videos, when this when I feel this can be of good use, it will come into play, and you guys will see it. And thank you again. Thank you very much for watching, and take care.